Hey y'all, welcome back to Deep Friend Honey. Today we are going to be making strawberries and cream oatmeal bars. Start by slicing your clean strawberries, um, very thin. I'm removing the stems with my fingers, um, it's pretty easy. And these have already been washed. Yes, I've seen the strawberries with bugs challenge videos. My kid showed them to me immediately. Um, if you click the link in the video description, I've included um, instructions for how to wash your vegetables in the recipe. Um, after you have those all sliced up, put them in a bowl, add some sugar, some lemon juice, and some almond extract, and then set that aside so that the strawberries can kind of release their juices. In the meantime, go ahead and start on your cookie and crumble. It's flour, oats, baking soda, I'm sorry, baking powder, ground coriander, and melted butter, vanilla extract, and brown sugar. I had to use a bit of white sugar because I ran out of brown sugar and I didn't feel like making any more brown sugar. Came out fine. Um, mix those separately, the dry ingredients and then the wet ingredients, and then combine them together. I may have accidentally cut out adding the vanilla extract, but it's in there too. And then stir it all up. Get it really well combined to make sure you're scraping up the loose flour at the bottom of the bowl. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees and get an 8x8 dish ready. Um, you just want to oil it or line it with some parchment paper and then add two thirds of your cookie mixture into the bottom. Spread it around in an even layer and then you're going to use the bottom of a measuring cup to really pack it down in there. Pack it tightly so that it doesn't crumble when you're cutting it or eating it later on. After it's packed down in there, throw it in the oven for 10 minutes to bake and then set it aside to cool. Make that cream cheese filling in the meantime. It's just powdered sugar, cream cheese, and milk. Mix it all together. Um, stir it until the large lumps are gone. It's okay to leave small lumps in there because it's gonna, you're not gonna be able to tell, but if you want it completely smooth, you feel free to go ahead and stir it until you get there. And your strawberries have released a lot of juice at this point, as you can see. And go ahead and add them to a small or medium saucepan over a medium heat. Cover it and bring it to a boil. Um, make sure you stir every so often so that the bottom doesn't overcook or get too thick. Um, after you have brought it to a boil and it looks a bit foamy on top, remove it from the heat or turn the heat off and stir in your vanilla extract and your agar agar powder, which is a vegetarian gelatin substitute. Get that all mixed up together and make sure you work quickly because that powder will set very fast. Um, and then remove it from the heat and set it aside. You wanna let it cool quite a bit, not all the way, but it shouldn't be uncomfortable if you were to get some on your skin. Add half of your cream cheese filling to the bottom um, well, above the bottom, on top of the bottom, you see what I'm talking about. Just spread it out onto the oatmeal layer. I don't do it all the way to the edges. You can if you want. And then top it with the still warm strawberry mixture. Spread that out, get that one all the way to the edges and make sure it's even. Now you're going to dollop. Um, the rest of your cream cheese mixture on top of the strawberry filling. After you have it all dolloped, I really like that word if you can't tell, go ahead and use a butter knife to swirl it through. If I was trying to make a pretty pattern, I would have done it a lot more smoothly than this, but as you can see, it gets covered with more oatmeal crumble, so it's not really necessary. You can feel free to leave yours more exposed if you want to. Um, but after you have an even layer of that, Take some of the reserved strawberry slices and arrange those on top. This is optional. It's really more for appearances. Um, but after you have those all arranged, give it a light sprinkle of some big chunks of crumble and then it goes back into the oven. Now it can need to bake anywhere between an extra 30 and 50 minutes. It depends on the pan you used. Um, and some other things but trust your nose don't let it burn don't let it get too brown and it should be well set 
let it cool completely before you get here where you remove it from the pan if you don't let it cool it's just let it cool okay i hate waiting for things to cool but this is necessary um cut it into bars measure it better than me i don't know why i thought i was going to cut it into four by three i obviously didn't have enough bar to do that with so you know estimate better than me or use a ruler or something but cut it into pieces and voila there you go there's your strawberry oatmeal bar As always, I appreciate you spending a few minutes of your day with me. I hope you have a great rest of your week and thank you for watching.